guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do reviews and tutorials of affordable and expensive makeup from drugstore, Walmart, Paris websites. I'll test it on my face and pass the savings to you guys. In this video, I'm reviewing an indie brand, Minus Cosmetics palette, and this is Perception. Technically, it's affordable because it was on sale. I got it 50% off. It looks like this inside. Look at that. Beautiful. There's so many shimmer and goodness. So I'm going to be doing this Elena Glam usual snatched look. <laughs> and I'll give you the swatches. And I'll give you a small tutorial and my final thoughts at the end, as usual. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you get notified of all new videos. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and also go live every Monday. So do follow me on social media, the links are down below, as well as my Patreon group. So like, comment, subscribe and let's get right into this. So I ordered this palette on June 12th and today is the 3rd, so I got it yesterday on the 2nd. So it's kind of a long time, but uh, considering that it's a small brand, shoe friends, don't text me now. Considering it's a small brand, it's uh, sometimes it happens. The bigger brands can afford faster shipping and the small brands usually takes a little bit. Besides they had a sale, 50% off, obviously. And that's the reason I forgot that I ordered it. Uh, I'd see it was done at 8 p.m. So apparently I was probably uh, tired later at night after dinner and I was like, there is a sale. Somebody tagged me, I'm probably like 50% off. I barely do that, like the indie brands, I'm still new to behind them. So, and they tend to be more expensive and I'm like, eh, maybe not. So this was budget friendly because it has 20 shades. It goes for $39, but I got 50% off. I snatched it for 19 something. The shipping was like five bucks, I think. Uh, I think they're located somewhere in Illinois because that's where it shipped from. And they shipped on uh, 20 something, so like days later. So, and it traveled like another two weeks. <laughs> so, by the time I got it, it's almost like a month. So that's why it was a nice surprise. But there is something about it. You know, the brand ships slowly and then you forget all about it. I literally got it yesterday and my husband brought it from Amazon lockers. We have lockers here in our apartment building. And he's like, there's something for you here. There's a palette. Midas Cosmetics. I'm like, I never ordered anything from Midas. It can be true. I'm like, did I get PR? Oh my God, I got PR. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Like, like hell, I got PR. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, I, I still have no memories how I ordered it. It's very vaguely. <laughs> so there is something about it. You get surprised, pleasantly surprised. Oh, look at that. I got a gift to myself. I didn't know nothing about it. <laughs> Anyway, jokes aside, I opened it and it was beautiful and then it slowly came back to me. So yeah, I had to film it immediately. So that's going to be next week when you watch it. It's going to be like, what, 6? July 6 or 7, something. So that's what we're doing today. So what? I, why? Why I ordered it? Because I saw white and I saw black. I'm like, somebody speaks to me. And there is my favorite tone of pink and there is my favorite tone of green. And there's my favorite tone of blue. <laughs> I'm like getting too excited about it. Because I love the lime green like this. Like a uh, shirt droops, like Teresa says. And I love this kind of blue, the cool tone blue. And the pink, this perfect cool tone pink that spoke my name. And the black, is this is like a perfect Elena Glam palette. I can't find any faults with it. Except like why is this brown shade here? And this brown shade. I mean, they have to put brown shades, but who cares? It is a perfect palette, literally, like perfect. I can't say anything negative about it. So I'm going to show you swatches after this. And we're going to have a little bit of tutorial and the final thoughts at the end. I mean, you don't really need to see my final thoughts because I'm already gushing all over it. So let's get to the swatches. So I did the swatches on my arm already. My husband is out the way. If some of you might know, I've been doing uh, hairy arms watches on my husband just for the shits and giggles. But he's missing. 
He's on a trip. So I did my arm. I did not prime it. I just did. Uh, I just moisturized pretty much. That's it. That is beautiful. The way it swatches is beautiful. It's so buttery. It's so creamy. Look how Matt's watch was no primer. Nothing. Wow. Look at the dual chrome, multi chrome. It swatches beautifully. It applies beautifully. I mean, this is going to be one of my favorite brands. Just with one palette. <laughs> okay, primer is on the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base in the color light. And we're going in. I'm going in with black because that's how I roll my channel. Always in a deep dark first. Uh, so that's called dark matter, which is very appropriate. I don't know what I was going to do with this palette, to be honest. I just wanted to smoosh all the bright colors of violet, because, you know, parakeet problems. I have a drag queen parakeet personality. So I see bright colors, I immediately lose my SHIT, and I just want to smear them all over. It is a good black, guys. Good black. I'm glad I'm getting to use Midas. Because the only thing I had from Midas was those uh, liners, the cake liners. So I'm going to the inner corner very, very slightly. Because the inner corner I want to be very bright, but not too dark. So I'm just like a little bit. But I find that ba black base gives you a little more depth, even if I'm going with a bright color. I mean, to each their own. You don't need to do this. I just like to do it and blend out black immediately a little bit. This saves you way more time on blending if you do it before you apply bright colors on. So that was the Morphe pencil brush. Uh, it doesn't have a number. I'm going with Perfusion blending brush. This came in the Perfusion set actually. Just because I haven't used Perfusion in a while, I really like Perfusion brushes. I'm going to Restless. The deep green of course, green called my name. Press it on. Look at that. Look at that green. It's deep, it's dark, but you can see the depth and the tone of green is just so beautiful. It just makes me so happy when I see this. So I'm gonna blend this out quite out far. As usual, when I sat down to film, I was planning to do let's do something different for one to lay now. Let's just do the rounded look. And then I went back. <laughs> it just I did it every single color in this palette on my face. I mean. So I'm going to blend it with a light green with the same brush immediately. Just because I need to start blending. And this will help. Because these colors are very far from each other, and one is very dark and one is very light. So if I tap in between two, it's gonna help. So this is open mind. The formula is so pigmented. I still can't quite decide whether it's a dry formula or not. It blends nicely. I feel like it's a little on the dry side, which I usually don't like, but so far it's not giving me any troubles. So now I'm taking just a brush, 231, and this is a Lux Petite Grease brush. Now I'm going directly into the lime green, just to make it extra light and extra bright. I decided just to test the yellow because it's called life and it's giving me life literally. So this is one of my pretty brushes from BoxyCharm. I just keep looking at those hearts floating there. I know it has nothing to do with the video. I just get distracted like a squirrel looking at the hearts. I get mesmerized. <laughs> so this is a glimmery, glimmery. I decided to test the yellow. Oh my god, it is so beautiful. I know I did the other already, but I just can't. I can't stop looking at that yellow. It's one of the best yellows I have. Like, oh, wow, 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 wow. Look how pretty this is. And pigmented house damn boots. Now it's my favorite part. Watch this. This is called Spire. This color is me. It's totally like the favorite color of mine, the favorite shade of blue, it's like a purplish blue, 
and inspiring is inspiring. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. This is like magical. Now this one is powdery the house. <laughs> very, very powdery. But that is not the point. It is so freaking pigmented. It is so freaking blue. Oh my god. Next time I need to do just a blue look with this color. And this would be my dream eyeball. I even forgot to tell you which brush I'm using. I got so excited about this blue. This is just a small just a brush, just up to 30. Small pencil brush. So the good thing about this palette, somebody is listening to what Elena Glam is saying. They put white and they put black. Thank you, Midas Cosmetics. You listened to your fan base. And I'm going to white. See, white is necessary in every palette. Because when there is a bright color that I love, let's say I wanted to blend it with this, but I don't really want to make it that dull. I just want to keep it that cool blue. So I want to get white and blend it with white. So for the brow bone, I'm going with some shimmery colors. I wanted to go with this duochrome pink green. It's kind of like all these uh, shimmer shades are very glittery, very beautiful, but I find them very hard to put on without any uh, base or spray. Like some of the shimmers and some sh uh, formulas are more sticky. This one isn't, so I'm gonna dip it into the psych, the duochrome. You see the brush doesn't want to get coated. I'm using a small brush. Uh, this is Sigma brush. It's a E46. Actually, this one's for inner corner, but who cares? I'm going to spray it with the Primark spray. I'm going to apply this here. And watch the magic. This is insane. It looks pink and lime green. Depends how you look at it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Motif. Motif is pure lime green. There is no shift. Oh, maybe there is some shift, I don't know. Just to add a little, a little more greenness here and blend it with the matte green. Okay, I cut the crease of camera. I cleaned with my cell water and Q-tip first. And I applied the same Revolution base. And now I'm gonna do the main color. So I chose this color immediately. This is like a duo or multi-chrome. It has pink, it has gold and green, I think. It has all kind of colors in it. But I'm not gonna lie, I had trouble applying it, even with a bad brush. It kind of turned into uh, a texture that's too thick, I think. So I'm gonna try to apply it with my finger. I have no nails, no artificial nails, because my nails are still healing from uh, fake nails. I'm gonna try my finger, because on the finger it looks beautiful. The other thing is around the crease, uh, the new crease, I have to use the brush. Seems like it is easier with a finger, but for all of us that need the precision, we'll need to use a brush eventually. Yeah, definitely the finger is the way to go. So I'm just gonna try to use this concealer, uh, just a brush. It's a cream shader 233, but I find it very good for the main lid for the shimmers so you see when i'm trying to load it it's, it's kind of crumbly so now i'm gonna try to spray it and i'm gonna see it does work with the spray actually you just have to go easy that was my mistake with the other i went too heavy and i put a little bit too much on yeah the extra people problems and then became too goopy but interestingly enough it can be fixed I did not have to wipe it off so I just went like this with the finger and it kind of smooshed it around my eyelid and it worked well that's how I learned the new formulas I've never used this Midas Cosmetics before so now that I know their formula I know how to apply it now it actually worked real well see it looks gorgeous. It looks all the reflects, the yellow, the gold, and the pink. Oh my god, this is amazing. But, but wait, there is more. <laughs> I needed to apply this on top. Because this is kind of the same thing, but the top right pink. I think that was the idea. Because this is like very glittery. It has green, it has pink. So I'm definitely going to finger this one. Just look at it. Oh my god. 
color. I'm just gonna apply this on top. Yes, I'm using my middle finger, excuse me. I'm not flipping you off. So now I'm gonna blend the outer corner. I'm going to use black and green, pretty much all the colors in the same kind of uh, formation, but the opposite. Black first, then dark green, and then light green. Is a different brush. This is just a two, three, four Lux uh, smoky shader. I just use smaller brushes for this area. So I need my waterline with ColourPop pencils. Uh, I was kind of like, I want blue. No, I want purple. No, I want blue. I want purple. So on this side, I did this. So I had to repeat the same on this one. So I used the blue one first, brands. Then I decided that I wanted purplish color and I smeared more color on top. It's called Piggy Bank. And we got this. So now I'm gonna go with Implode and Fusion. Implode looks like brown in the first look, but I think it's like a purplish brown. It's very, very pretty. So that one first and then Passion, because in Fusion, excuse me, I called it Passion. Fusion is like my favorite color of pink, my favorite tone. Like every palette that has this kind of tone of pink, I'm like, give me. I like the cool tones of colors, like cool blue, cool pink. So I'm just gonna press it on here. I clean this brush on a towel and go for the fusion. Just look at it, look at it. This is a perfect pink. If you like pink, you're gonna be like, this is a perfect pink. Taking a small Jessup 237, I'm going to go into Evolve. Oh, this one. I needed to test it. It's just this bright, bright, corally pink. It's almost neon. Oh my God. This is gonna be inner corner. I might keep my inner corner matte unless I wanna spray the brush and put something else on top, but. This coral color, holy cow, it is beautiful. Oh, let me finish blending this and finish my eye makeup because pretty much done. All I need is eyeliner, lashes, and mascara, and I'll be back with a finished look. How long did it take me to blend? Almost no time whatsoever. Minus cosmetics. That's a great palette. Okay, the eye makeup is done, the whole face is done. Yes, as you can see, I could not resist and smoosh that same duochrome shimmery glitter all over my lips. I wanted to look a little deadly, a little bit of a drowned person zombie look. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, yeah, this is amazing. Look at this. This duochrome, multi-chrome, whatever we call it, the shimmers, the toppers, everything is so special. It's pink into green. I keep turning my head like crazy because I can't stop because it's so beautiful. And yeah, I forgot to mention, I use Midas because they do have, as you can see, it's very well used. The cake liner is amazing. It's a bit, the best formula I have. I use the white, you know, to give it a little pop. So there you have it. Very smoky, very small, smoldering. I wanted to put the bangs on, but then you won't see the makeup because of the bangs. So. So for the eyelashes, I stacked a couple of lashes. If you ask me which ones they are, I mean, it's not the best option. Uh, why I stacked them? Because I opened up a new pair. And this is the pair that I got a long time ago for Halloween. Uh, Kiss Wicked Treat or Treat. Trick or Treat. But they're nice. But they're not big enough, I guess. So I put another pair on. Uh, might be regretting this choice but whatever it is what it is uh and also for the lips i used the wet and wild got you bare naked and then i put a little bit of the same shimmer on top i would say it's kind of a glitter dual chrome glitter topper even psych so that was all on top of it so and i put that in the inner corner i could not go with a matte inner corner i just had to Put some shimmer in there 
So yeah, I'm happy with that. The green is so amazing. I just keep looking at my outer corner in amazement because it's so beautiful. The matte is so beautiful and this dual chrome thingy. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is my first time drying uh, Midas Cosmetics uh, formula. I would say I love it. Uh, I wasn't sure if I would call it a dry or a buttery eyeshadow formula. I think it's like, it's more of a good, like a smooth formula. Some of the shades felt a little dry, but they blend out very, very nicely. And then the extremely pigmented and the color, just the vibrancy, it's so beautiful. They created this color so well. The blues and the yellows, the green, oh my God. Everything is so good. And with the sale that they had at the moment, it was $19. So it goes for, um, 39 so it was like a 19 something on sale i mean it can't go wrong for the 20 shades with this kind of quality this is a steal guys so it's not on sale right now but even 39 dollars for the indie brand i guess it's supposed to be a good deal so yeah i do recommend them uh, especially after having this for so long i got these cake liners and they're so good i like this cake liners actually more than other brands that i tried so there you have it. A very good brand. Highly recommend. So let me know if you guys picked this up. Yeah, leave me a comment below as usual. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you like the formula? I mean, obviously it's amazing. Like, you cannot not like it. And uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. And do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and also go live every Monday. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you get notified of all new stuff. A uh, huge thank you to my patrons. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for sticking with me. You guys are amazing. I have a Patreon group. We have a Telegram, I have a Facebook group, and uh, my patrons get special lives and uh, different things that I do with them. <laughs> So if you guys are interested, all my social media all links are down below. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.